Hello, my name is Michael Ford and I am a candidate for Oshkosh City Council. Um, I'm making this video because if you are not aware, the uh, League of Women Voters debate tonight at Oshkosh City Hall was just canceled um, due to coronavirus uh, fears. Um, it's, it was the right move. We should all be socially distancing ourselves right now. So this is now my new campaign world headquarters. If you don't know me, uh, you may have seen my signs somewhere around town or you may have even seen it at your door uh, though i'm taking a pause from the doors right now um, to be consistent with the guidance from the uh, from the cdc so like many of you i'm, I'm home today um, i am i am homeschooling or, or or helping facilitate the directions of the oshkosh area school district with my fifth grader and second grader um, I just had a, a, an online video conference call for, for work for my full-time job, which is a, a professor of public administration at UW Oshkosh, um, and trying to really hold things together while my wife is out there working on the front lines as a nurse practitioner. Um, that's my specific story during this crisis, but I know we all have our own uh, specific stories. Um, I think that this time really illustrates the importance of our government. We need a government that is competent, experienced and really up to the task. In other words, a government that takes governing seriously. And really that's why I chose to run for city council in the first place before any of this began. My day job entails teaching individuals that work in government in the nonprofit sector. It involves researching what works and what doesn't work in government. And that is why as a candidate I have been so passionate about one, saying I'm going to serve everybody, that I'm not running um, or receiving help from any political party because we, we, you know, every Oshkosh resident has a stake in our city's success and, and has a right to be heard and a right to be represented. I can't walk in to that position on city council um, having already alienated half of the population. That's not who I am. That's not how I want to govern. It's why I have been so uh, clear and specific about what I want to do as a city council member. If you go to www.oshkoshforall.com, you will see a, a, a full listing of everything I believe in, my specific uh, position on, on public policies, and really my whole philosophy of, of governing. I am dedicated to being the most transparent candidate because you all have a right to know what you are getting. You know, politics can be treated as, as a game, as you know, vote for me because you know me, or a popularity contest, or I have one single issue. But I think this crisis illustrates that this is not a game. Um, politics is, is about implementing the collective good. Um, to do that, we need all hands on deck. We need to have someone who has the experience, competence, and really demeanor to get things done. So I plan to continue to make a few videos, and I will have a more formal video coming out where my son actually interviews me in depth. Um, but given the situation, I figured why not take advantage of being, uh, being stuck at home to try to reach out directly to you. So I encourage you to share this video. Um, I encourage you to ask me any questions. If you go to my website, www.oshkoshforall.com, you will see my email address on there and you can respond, you can, you can reach out directly to me um, and I'll get back to you ASAP. Um, but I also encourage you to go ahead and register for absentee, uh, an absentee ballot here in Wisconsin. Um, April 7th is the election. Um, who knows what the situation is going to be um, on that date. So if you have an absentee ballot, you can still participate, and I encourage everybody to do that. Uh, but mostly, I think it's important that everybody heeds the advice of, of the city, of the state, um, of the CDC, to make sure that we get through this um, with minimally disruptive uh, lasting impacts. Um, individuals' health is, is most important um, right now. And I believe in people. I believe in the city of Oshkosh. I believe in my fellow, uh, my fellow uh, humanity. Um, we'll get through this one day at a time. So thank you very much, and I look forward to talking to you all in the future, even if it is digitally. Thank you.